ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट एक्सपेरिमेंटल वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ आर्किमिडीज प्रिंसिपल बट फॉर दिस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो व्हाट इज आर्किमिडीज प्रिंसिपल according to archimedes principle when a body is partially or completely immersed in a liquid it experiences an op thrust equal to weight of displaced liquid and according to this principle we can say that op thrust which is also called buoyant force is equal to weight of displaced liquid look at this is an object and it is weighed in the air and let's say its weight is w1 and eureka can is completely filled with water if we take more water then it will go out from spout it is completely filled with water a top pan balance is placed in such a way that it is just below the spout a beaker is placed on it which is empty and if water comes out from this eureka can that can be collected in this empty beaker let's say weight of empty beaker is w3 Okay remember this w1 is the weight of the body in air and w3 is the weight of empty beaker now we are going to immerse this object into the water when we immerse it then weight of the body becomes less than the previous it won't be w1 let's say it is w2 then w1 minus w2 is the weight of the body in air minus weight of the body in water or liquid this is op thrust or buoyant force on the other side when it immerses into the water then water is displaced by this body which comes out through the spout and get collected in the empty beaker now weight of the beaker with displaced water wouldn't be w3 it changes that's why we can say that it is w4 now w4 minus w3 gives the weight of displaced liquid that's why we have two measurement one is op thrust another is weight of displaced liquid experimentally it is found that w1 minus w2 is equal to w4 minus w3 what it mean it means op thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid this way experimentally we can prove that op thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid since water is taken in this case that's why i'm writing here water but it proves archimedes principle in examination we cannot show animated picture and animated sentences we have to draw diagram for the experimental verification of archimedes principle and i suggest you to draw this diagram here w1 is weight of the body in air and w3 is the weight of empty beaker and w2 is the weight of the body in water and w4 is the weight of both the beaker and displaced water combined weight only diagram cannot prove the archimedes principle so i want to take it to one of the side now after the diagram we have to write this way as shown in the diagram a body is weighed in air let's say its weight is w1 in air and then in water w2 weight of empty beaker w3 and beaker with displaced water w4 is also taken and after this we can say here op thrust is equal to w1 minus w2 weight in air minus weight in water and weight of displaced water equal to w4 minus w3 and experimentally w1 minus w2 and w4 minus w3 are found to be equal it means weight of displaced liquid is found to be equal to the op thrust or buoyant force thus archimedes principle is experimentally verified which states that op thrust is equal to weight of displaced liquid this way we can verify archimedes principle experimentally okay now i want to finish this we'll meet in another class